Ah yes, it's Richie here. So this is the first video I've made in a long time, um, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, today I'm coming down to Canal to fish. I've not fished the canal in about two years. Last year I concentrated on the river leaving, um, going for the sea trip. So this year I'm coming back fishing the canal. Two years ago um, I had really good success with my homemade jig flies and that's what I'm going to use today. Uh, one of my favourite jig flies that I caught most on. One that I caught most on was this wee red jig fly just here. One of my favourite pike that I caught, and I'm going to show you a clip just now. So as you can see, I was quite lucky that day to catch on a third cast, um, but no, that was one of my favourite pike that I caught in the canal. So today I'm coming back, I'm going to fish the same stretch, but I'm also planning and fishing different parts of the canal um, this season, and I'm going to be using two new jig flies. So the first jig fly I'm going to be using is this one here. So it looks similar. Um, to the one I was using two years ago. Only difference is it's got two joints in it, so it's got more movement. Or at least that's the plan. I've not used it yet, so I need to find out if it works. So I'm going to use that on the way up the stretch, and then on the way back, I'm going to use a different one. Next one I'm going to use is this blue one here. As you can see, there's a lot more material on it. Um, but I just want to see what one works best. So I'm going to use um, the red one first and then use the blue one on the way back down. Um, both of them um, I've not used yet, so I need to see how they work. Um, the red one is a 5 gram jig head uh, and the blue one is a 10 gram. So I want to see the difference between the two and also see the difference between one having less material on it and one having more material on it just to see what has better reaction in the water. So today's just about testing that, but this is the first video I've made proper uh, since I had my accident on the 1st of November when I was in a bad car crash, so I'm glad to be back. Um, so, no, just can't wait. But, hope you enjoy the video. Tight lines. Try and let you see how the jig fly works. Let's cast right in the fish. Oh, it's gone out. Nice wee jack. And that's how 
a drag fly works, first cast, first rush, first, first cast on a drag fly for a speed bike, Gary beat it. Hopefully, it's the first time, any. On a drag fly, release your pipe. Hi! <laughs> Aye. My goodness, that was huge, wasn't it? That's a baby one. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, pipe. So, safe to say, the drag fly works. Bit of a mess, but should be fine. As you can see, it worked with that first bike and the first cast. Let's try in a different spot. Let's see if there's anything here. So it's been a brilliant trip so far. I don't know how good the uh, audio is going to be as it's really windy here, um, but it's been good so far. Managed to catch that first uh, jack pike on the first cast. Um, I then had a second one. Um, Aldo's here now, um, so he's going to be driving me for a wee bit. Um, but I'm halfway along where I want to fish to, and then I'm going to fish all the way back down using the blue ones. Uh, the blue trick fly. Um, so still got a wee bit left on the red one, um, but so far it's done good. Um, so I'm quite happy with it. Uh, just going to keep on trying, but I'll be enjoying the video so far. Diet lines. So I just stopped for a wee bite to eat. I'm going to continue um, going further up the canal. Um, the weather today has not been the best. One minute it's cloudy, the next minute it's sunny, then it's raining. Um, but the worst part's been that wind. The wind's been quite strong today. Um, but all in that, it's been really good. I'm going to continue using the red jig fly as I go up, and then on the way back, I'll use the blue one um, just to see the difference. But so far, it's been brilliant. Nice wee pike. Third wee pike out of the day. Can't even beat it. Put it on the drag fly.
Drag flight still looks all right. Yeah, what a brilliant trip. Um, safe to say that drag fly is worth its weight in gold. Do you read one? So, caught three, uh, spooked another two, lost one at my feet, and then this happened to Aldo. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Take your time, let it blow. So, he managed to catch a pig at last, and then it spits the hook, and then top lost it. But, that, that's just, just the way it happens sometimes. Um, the weather was against us today with the wind. Um, one minute it was sunny, the next minute it was <laughs> raining, the next minute it was dead cold. Um, but no, I really enjoyed the day. It's safe to say that jig fly did work. Um, but my plan is, next time where I finish the day, I'm going to continue from where I left off today and walk up for up the canal. As for the blue jig fly, um, I'll show you a wee clip of that just now. It's not the best um, clip um, to show you the performance of the blue jig fly. I didn't really get the chance to use it today as planned because I was catching on the red one. I decided to stick to that because I thought after seeing it um, in the water, I thought the blue one's probably best for deeper water, um, as in like little woman and stuff like that. So I'm going to try that up there instead, and I'll just stick to the smaller jig fly on the canal. What you won't see in the, in the video is how far I actually travelled today. I actually covered um, 10.4 miles in total, so I walked up 5.2 miles up and done 5.2 miles back. Um, so it was a long distance. Um, we did stop for a wee break and I moved the car. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, Till next time, tight lines and thanks for your support, so really much appreciated.